What's up guys and welcome back to my YouTube channel. And today I'm going to check if the conjugate of z is differentiable or not. And um, I'm going to check it without using cauchy riemanns theorem and I'm going to check it with the ordinary definition of derivative. So um, let's get into it. Um, the ordinary definition of derivative states that the f prime of z is equal to the limit of delta z when it goes to zero or as it approaches to zero of f of z plus delta z minus f of z over delta z. So uh, now I can do something with the numerator. Um, I can write this f of z plus delta z. Like okay, if I if I plug this z plus delta z instead of my z in my main function, I will get the conjugate of z plus delta z. So it will be the conjugate of z plus delta z minus f of z, which is equal to conjugate of z minus the conjugate of z over delta z so now as a definition using the definition of conjugate we know that z plus delta z is equal to the conjugate of z plus the conjugate of delta z now we can use it we can use it at the top of our quotient and we will get um, z plus the conjugate plus the delta z conjugate of z plus the conjugate of delta z minus the conjugate of z over delta z and now it helps us because um, this conjugate of z and this negative conjugate of z will cancel out and what remain is um, the limit of delta z when it goes to zero of the uh, conjugate of delta z over delta z. So now, as you know, when we are in a complex plane, we can approach a, um, we can approach our point that we want to calculate the limit in it um, in so many ways. A different path. Um, I don't know. This path, maybe this path, maybe maybe this, maybe this one, maybe this one. All those paths are accepted if we want to take the limit. And um, for example, I'm going to use two two of them. The two yes, two of them like um, the path of when delta x is zero and when the delta y is zero. And um, let's do it. Because we can write it like delta x minus i times the delta y over delta x plus i times the delta y. Okay. Um, if I move in the x axis, then my change into y variable is nothing but zero. So I can cancel this delta y and write it like zero, so I will get delta x over delta x which is 1 so in this case our derivative is nothing but 1 so and um, what if I what if I move in the y-axis so my change in x uh, x variable will be 0 because um, if I move up and down my x won't change so I can't write delta x is equal to zero so now I can cancel delta x in numerator and denominator so I will get minus i times the delta y over i times positive i times the delta y so my derivative in this case will be minus one so these two derivatives won't be equal so 
because um, our answer of our derivative in two different paths were in the same, so we can conclude that it's not differentiable at all. And um, we can take derivative of this function, and uh, I did it for you guys without using Cauchy Riemann theorem, and um, hope you guys enjoyed this video. Don't, don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel. Love you guys. Thank you. Nice.